start our Sukhna Lake journey in a sporty way. For sports lovers, top on the list is rowing. The lake, which was the venue for the Asian Rowing Championships, has the longest channel for rowing and yashing events in Asia. It also has facilities for other water sports like water surfing, skiing and sculling. One can choose a boat and sit back and relax while floating on the vast expanse of Sukhna Lake. An awesome place for picnic with kids, Sukhna Lake in Chandigarh is a reservoir on the foothills of Himalayas. This artificial lake is ideal for your kids to enjoy boating, bird spotting and eating ice cream. There is a designated area for kids with swings for kids to play whilst the families can enjoy the serene environment. Walking and jogging is on top of the list for nature lovers and fitness freaks. One of the biggest and buzzing with people who visit this mall with family and friends in order to unwind themselves from the routine work on weekends as this mall has all the top brands under one roof from apparels to footwear to electronic gadgets to bowling alley of coffee shop to restaurants, food courts and movie halls. Of life. It is a way of life that provides a rare opportunity to leave the madness of world behind and attain inner peace. It's not only the lake which is a beautiful sight, but if you look upwards, you can see the clear blue skyline which is quite pretty. Sketching at the Sukhna Lake, besides the breathtaking view, there is something that draws immediate attention. A few artists sketching pencil portraits. They spend the entire day at the lake, sketching youngsters, sometimes newlyweds, sometimes even foreigners to provide their memoirs of their visit to City Beautiful. Sukhna Lake, Chandigarh's main reservoir, is grazed by one of the city's largest trees, a people, which shades the walking track around the sometimes dry water body. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful and it's very old. Yeah. And it's like uh, you know what? What I feel is you know what? I just met a person who like who said that uh, he's like since uh, he's here since 1958. So he was like born here, and he has seen this tree growing old and old. And he told me this uh, this uh, this tree was like very small when he was like dead. It was like. You know what? It, uh, this tree has many stories. I have, you have no idea, like how many like uh, people being like sit here, and you know what? I always imagine the past, the future. You know, there's lots of things, and it makes uh, give me lots of peace. And that's why I always come here and sit down. Love and peace of mind do protect us. The Garden of Silence is a meditative space at the end of Sukhna Lake, Chandigarh. It features a seated Buddha. The garden is financed by the Ministry of Tourism, Government of India and developed by Chandigarh Administration. This is the latest monument in Chandigarh. Sukhna Lake is the main water source for fisheries in Chandigarh. The lake, together with other water resources, adds up about 266 hectares where fish farming can be taken up. My name is Shyam Sundar. I am from the lake from 1963. And here, when we are in the lake, we come to the lake, we are calm, we do fishing and we do our time pass. Here, we are in the lake.
This tower basically measures the water level in Sukhna Lake. Many years back, people used to climb up the tower and jump into the lake to commit suicide. There have been many suicide cases from this tower and hence it got its name as Suicide Tower. Now the tower has been closed permanently and no one can enter it. But it is still a famous spot to click photographs. For years, it has drawn in a lot of crowds of all kinds. The happy ones, the ones looking for a respite and the ones with suicidal tendencies. Apparently, there have been many suicide deaths at the lake and the resulting effect is this dark and spooky atmosphere after sunset. Hi, uh, my name is Hitarth Mahindru and uh, I li I'm living in Panchkula that is the neighboring city to Chandigarh and uh, I work in uh, IBM uh, that is in Noida so I'm, my birthplace is this place but I am working in there so I usually visit uh, uh, nearly uh, two to three months because my parents are living in this place so uh, you know in Delhi NCR uh, there's so much pollution it's like uh, uh, it's my personal experience that uh, ये जो सूरज आप देख रहे हैं सूर्य दैट इज़ ऑल्सो वेरी इट्स वेरी रेयर इन दैट प्लेस बिकॉज इट्स सो मच स्मॉग इज देयर सो वैन आई कम टू चंडीगा इट्स अ इट्स अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड आई एम वेरी फॉर्चुनेट दैट माई होम इज़ हेयर इट्स अ वंडरफुल प्लेस टू बी विद द नेचर टू बी विद योर सेल्फ वहाँ तो काफ़ी डेली में नोएडा में इट्स वेरी मच यू हैव यू आर जस्ट लाइक अ मशीन और हवा साफ नहीं है सुबह से शाम काम कर रहे हैं पर यहाँ के ऐसा लगता है कि जैसे इट मेक्स अस हैप्पी फ्रॉम द इन साइड जो ज़रूरी भी है क्योंकि पैसा तो सब कुछ है नहीं जिंदगी में खुशी भी बहुत कुछ है तो लगता है कि चलिए उधर अब इतना तप करते हैं स्ट्रगल करते हैं या तो यहाँ आके रिलैक्स करते हैं तो आई एम वेरी थैंकफुल टू द गवर्नमेंट एंड टू द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इन चंडीगढ़ एंड ऑल क्योंकि इतना बढ़िया सिटी पूरे इंडिया में मुझे तो आज तक मिला नहीं है जितना प्लान और इतना ग्रीन हो सो आई एम लकी आई एम फॉर्चुनेट